6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Please. Madam Prep. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President, has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Madam President! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs> Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. You. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validating. Access authorized. identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub-49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please!
coming. Carol! You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther, you hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President.
Here we are. The moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it.
I think Gary Oliver Jack. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Jerry, check. Please don't move. Thank you. Security check. I'm sorry. Move. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, on, honey. Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my... Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. because of us? No. No, of course not. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. They all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. 